What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Maya's World. Today we're going to be talking about something that happens usually when new cards are dropped. Right now it's Team of the Week and EA Sports is telling me, yo, look, G Maya, raid sell Strahan. I'm like, why? Why would I raid sell him? And they're like, yo, look, just understand he's not going to play the way that he was playing prior to the new release that we just dropped. And I'm like, yo, hold on, EA. You, wh who you drop? We dropped Kevin Carter, G Maya. He's very, very similar. In some cases, he's actually better. But for the most part, he's very identical and he costs so much less. EA, you've spoken. I got you. Kevin Carter, welcome to the team, dude. Let's go ahead and add him. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. When you start playing a game, right, all of a sudden, straight hand will stop shedding. He'll start acting like a complete mark. When those things start to happen, EA is letting you know. Either get another card or buy a bundle. For us, there's no card that's coming out like that I can visibly see myself wanting a bundle for. Um, unless they out of nowhere drop another Calvin Johnson wide receiver and a dude gets like 98 speed or some weirdness like that. I don't really see myself buying a bundle. So I have no choice but to listen when EA speaks. I'm going to tell you this right now. Strahan was one of the better cards for a very, very long time. This card right now is very, 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 very good and very identical to the Michael Strahan card. And uh, to complete this set, when I just bought all the things, it cost me about 330k. Strahan is selling for about 600. Mathematically, we don't need to do any more math. We have to just understand that when you look at this, he's gonna have an 88 speed with a higher excel, and he's still 6'5". I think he's 6'5 also, right? And and he's heavier than Strahan. And um, you know his strength is gonna be good. He's gonna have that block shed. It's gonna be good. Trust me, guys. He's gonna work out perfectly for the scheme that we're gonna be working, and we're gonna you know save about 300, 400k right now. Keep in mind, Series 4 is coming very soon, and a lot of these reduxes and stuff like that are going to affect different prices. You're going to notice that a lot of your cards are going to start doing weird things. Your quarterback might all of a sudden start overthrowing passes. It's very, very weird, but it's actually genius. Many of you guys, when you find my channel, you come here and you're like, all right, this guy gets it. This guy knows what I'm talking about because I just threw four picks with a guy that, you know, I had a quarterback for way too long. EA wants you to evolve. It's no longer a time where it's like, all right, you know what? Um, I feel like going to do this. They force you to change your players. Now, once you get a theme team, most players are going to just be what they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, Deion Sanders is on my team. He's not a Raider, but he's so good no matter what happens because EA likes him. He's always going to be good. No matter what year of Madden it is, Deion Sanders is always consistent. So with that being one of the major cases, you have to understand there are a lot of things that are going to go on within a game to let you know, look, it's time for you to move on. So for me, it was a no brainer. I looked at it. And I was like, they had to release another card because Michael Strand is playing totally trash. And I know a lot of you guys are seeing it, but you don't want to ultimately admit it, like what's going on. But you can see, you see how his price is coming down? He was at like 650, almost 700 yesterday. Everybody's realizing it like, hold on, this dude is garbage all of a sudden. Well, I'm going to tell you the way it is. I'm not going to act like the guy is good. You guys get mad at me because I'm so brutally honest, but I show you the games. For most of you guys that are subscribed to GMI's World Gaming, you see all my wins and my losses. I don't care. I'm not hiding anything, bro. This dude is garbage. He got to go. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, realistically, we got everything we wanted out of him. How many wins did we get weekly? Like 21 or something? I don't, we, got, we got what his value was. So I'm not tripping on that, but we got to get some coins right now. So people are going to be looking to get him because there's a lot of people that wanted the card. So they're going to be looking to get him. Go get him. He's right there for you guys. Go buy him. We're going to get like whatever we get and jump right back up to where we were. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to update Kevin Carter. And I'm going to show you guys exactly why all of a sudden everybody is getting off of the Michael Strahan bandwagon. Because I didn't, look, during the game I was just playing with him, I was looking at him like, hold on. He's not doing anything. You know how you, you have a player that you're like, yo, I spent so much money on him. That dude better be doing jumping jacks. He better be flying from the rooftops. We know when we spend a lot of money for a card, we hated doing it, but we did it because we thought it was necessary. But then EA turns around and they drop another card or they'll give a training, uh, you know, a training option to Bo Jackson out of nowhere. They do things that are so ridiculous. And it's like, why? And why didn't this guy play for anybody? Bro, play for the Raiders, dude. Kevin Carter, go back in time. Use Stewie's time machine from Family Guy. Go back in time and play for the Raiders and, and show me what's up. Like, bro, I don't know what team to put him on now. What is, okay, he has a Rams. 
uh, uniform on in the, in the thing. So we'll just let him stay as a Ram. Um, whatever, dude. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We got to add him with lockdown and all that stuff. We're going to pretty much give him everything that we gave to Michael Strahan. So he's going to get inside stuff and all that good stuff as well. Um, we're going to go ahead, add Sprinter to him to increase it. Now, look, what you're going to notice, though, like I was telling you guys before, you're going to notice that he has a higher Excel than Michael Strahan. And all that does is um, it creates a situation. Okay, we're, we're, okay, hold up. He, he gets double enough for 2 AP. I, dude, I got to have inside stuff. You know what I'm saying? I have to have inside stuff. I just have to have it. It's just something that's needed. I can't really... I know I, I know some of you guys be like, yo, bro, don't really work. But when it does work, oh my goodness. And it'll get you some key stops too. Um, why have... Okay, he's not in the lineup yet. So we're going to go add him to the lineup uh, so that we can boost his numbers up and everybody can see what's going on. Why hasn't uh, Michael Strahan sold yet? Nobody knows. Let's find out. Probably somebody put him up for cheaper. Dudes know what's up. Dudes already know. Yeah, 557. Dudes... Yo, dude. They know exactly what's going on. This dude right here, his price just went straight dookie stains in like two minutes. All right, okay, 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 dude. Okay, all right, get out of here. Bro, 549, 549. I, listen, guys, I try to tell you, man, like, look, get on it. You got to get on it. EA Sports has spoken. New cards dropped. Go get another card right now. All right, 549, he got to sell, right? There got to be a psychopath out there that realizes, you know, look, the dude's pretty good, right? Like, we got a lot of them now. Like, yo, this guy's pretty good. Yo, listen, this guy needs to sell instantly. Bro, give me my coins, EA. Yo, bro, give me, give me, give me, give me. I need, I need. Like, bro. Okay, hold on. Are you going to sell? Are you the lowest one up there? At least for right now? All right, you are. Okay, cool. So he'll sell while we continue what we're doing here and continue to do our ridiculousness. So let's go add uh, Carter into the lineup, right? And see the type of boost and what else he brings to the table. Because obviously, we're going to need... Um, we're gonna need somebody to make those plays because Strahan is not a slouch. It's just that he's not what we need right now. What did I, did I have a secondary position on him or something? Okay, this guy gets secondary position too, right? All right, where is he? Yeah, Kevin Carter. Yo, Marcus Davenport, that dude is garbage by the way, guys. If you guys wanted to know, that dude's garbage. Like, listen, just avoid him like the plague. We gotta give him secondary position over here. Hold on, don't even set trip for one second. Hold up, hold up. Um, let's give him right in real quick so that we don't have all those things being crossed out. And now we're good. Okay, so let's go take a look at what's happening here. All right, so he's an 88 speed with a 95 Excel. So he's getting right off the ball. He's heavier, 6'5", you know, finesse move 91, power move 95, 96 block shed. So pretty much identical for half the price. Now, all we have to do is get lucky and get rid of Michael Strahan in the fives, and then we're good to go. Um, I do expect this guy to play exactly the way that, uh, you know, Michael Strahan played, if not better. All right, so just so you guys understand that. All right, hold Kevin Carter, team of the week. We'll give him this one. Um, also, you want to remember, because like this is the second player from team of the week. We already have Eric Allen. All right, now, some of you guys have been asking the question, you know, uh, g -Mile, with your scheme chemistry, you're putting everything with lockdown on your players. Why are you doing that? That is a very, very good question. The reason that I'm doing that is because my backups are trash and I don't have enough, really. Like, I think I'm over lockdown enough to probably try to change some stuff up, but only eight. So I can start something else with eight, but that wouldn't really benefit me at all. Okay, so at this point, like, so, you know, for certain videos, I will let you guys know what's going on. I'll uh, break it down for you guys, let you kind of understand more or less what's happening. You need certain boosts in the game to be able to get your players to react and to do certain things. Uh, with that being said, you have to be able to look at the chemistries and understand exactly what's going on. So I could go and max out lockdown or I can have it less and not have my players be 99 at corner, um, safety and stuff like that. And it affects what they're doing. So for now, for the time being, because yeah, I can put something like run stuff or whatever crap on my linemen and change it up, but I don't have enough to do that. And because of that, you know, even with the coaches and the uniforms not working and adding certain abilities, it makes it very, very difficult to do a lot of the things that we want to do uh, with our ultimate team. So EA Sports has yet to release a patch where they fix that. So it's very, very difficult for me to say to you guys, you know, try to, you know, add other chemistries because as of right now, only the coach works. So, you know, for those of you guys that are new to the game and you're wondering, like, you know, how do you add, you know, the scheme chemistries and get it so, why is he, why is John Gruden crying? Um, you know, adding the additional scheme chems and stuff. At this point right now, because we don't have any other option other than the coach, it's very, very difficult. Now, if they ever decide, probably when Madden 21 is over, to open up the uniforms, um, that could definitely work. Oh, it works. 
Is it working? Oh no, it's still locked. I'm about to say, oh, it works, but it doesn't. It's still locked. The pathway is locked. Um, I, I don't really know, but this is going to be the only way. Oh, good riddance, Strahan. Uh, this is going to be the only way for you to actually max out everything with a dual chem, in my opinion, right now, because most of the theme teams, we have bums that back up our star players. And because we can't utilize the other, you know, the stadium and the uniforms with that uh, boost and adding the scheme, that's going to create an issue. So I just wanted to make sure that I was clear with that because I saw that come up. And many of you guys are just getting into Madden Ultimate Team and you want to know, you know, why these boosts like that, Jemaya? Why do you have these certain players, um, you know, going on? And that's pretty much what it is. I rather have, you know, Rod Woodson 99 everything with lockdown, utilizing my DN with lockdown, even though the DNs don't need lockdown. They would need more of a, you know, pass rushing chem and stuff like that. I rather see this with my outside guys and just know if you try them, we going for six. I'd rather know that than anything else, because that's the biggest thing. Madden 21, now since the last patch, there are so many more, um, you know, cover uh, three beaters, cover four beaters, where people are just wide open. So the only way to really counteract it is to have as much speed and pray. Like, that's it. You have to have a, you have to have a lot of speed out there and just be ready for whatever your opponent's doing. And that's what really gets that defense going, the offense going. So you'll notice that, you know, offensively, I'll use the play fake scheme chemistry, um, you know, and defensively, we'll go with lockdown. Well, you know, look, look at this guy. I don't think this guy, he's a power rusher, so he doesn't even have any kind of, you know, you know, defensive, like, coverage chems. That's why Ted Hendricks is unique, because he actually has coverage. These guys don't do anything like that. Look, zone coverage 42, man coverage 30. You know, when you look at a guy like Ted Hendricks, he actually goes and plays man coverage. He plays zone. He does stuff. These guys are just strictly going after the quarterback. So I just saved about 300K getting him, and he's going to give me the same thing. He has the weight. He has all the thresholds. Very, very similar to what uh, Michael Strahan had. So this is where we are with it, guys. Hopefully this was, you know, informative and helpful for you guys, and you guys are stepping it up because we needed to do it. It was something that had to be done, and we did it. All right? So... Raiders theme team is popping. I'm going to see you guys and girls soon. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments. Leave it in the comment section. That dude is gone. Rage sold effective immediately. We no longer need him. Shout out to EA Sports. When you speak, I listen. One love, y'all.